Physical Education 10 entitled Injuries in Recreation and Other Dance Form Cheer Dance. After going through this module, you are expected to assess physical activity, exercise, and eating habits. Engage in moderate to vigorous physical activities for at least 60 minutes a day in and out of school. Under this, we have letter A, identify the different injuries during recreational activities, and letter B, perform the basic cheer dance movement and create a cheer dance routine. In the absence of a planned exercise program, doing active recreational activities may help you break the monotony of a toxic desk work, mind-boggling academic problems and brain-squeezing assignments and research papers required in your classes. Active recreational activities provide not just an opportunity for you to enjoy life but an avenue to enhance your fitness. They are not suggested to take the place of the academic challenges in school but are recommended to balance or neutralize the adverse effects of a sedentary lifestyle among students. The earlier you make active recreation a fitness habit, the more chances you will have to maintain or improve your health and well-being. Under letter A, common injuries involved in recreation. Number one, sprains. Number two, strains. Number three, knee injuries number four fractures and number five dislocations we have number one the sprains a sprain is a stretch or tear of a ligament the band of connective tissues that joins the end of one bone with another sprains are caused by trauma such as a fall or a blow to the body that knocks a joint out of the position and in the worst case, raptures the supporting ligaments. Sprains can range from the first degree or minor to third degree, and that's the worst. Areas of the body most vulnerable to sprains are the ankles, knees, and wrists. Signs of a sprain include varying degrees of tenderness or pain, bruising, inflammation, swelling, inability to move a limb or joint or joint looseness, laxity or instability. Number two, strains. A strain is a twist, pull or tear of a muscle or tendon, a cord of tissue connecting muscles to bone. It is an acute non-contact injury that results from overstretching or over-contraction. Symptoms of a strain include pain, muscle spasm, and loss of strength. On the other hand, it is hard to tell the difference between mild and moderate strains. Severe strains not treated professionally can lead to permanent damage and loss of functions. Number 3. Knee Injuries Due to its complex structure and weight-bearing function, the knee is the most commonly injured joint. Each year, more than 5.5 million people visit orthopedic surgeons for knee problems. Knee injuries can range from mild to severe. Less severe would be tendonitis, patella, femoral compression syndrome, iliotibial band syndrome, and versitis, to name a few. The severe injuries include bone bruises or damage to the cartilage or ligaments. Major injuries are common to the anterior cruciate ligaments or ACL. Meniscus injuries Posterior cruciate ligament or PCL, 
we have medial collateral ligament or MCL and the lateral collateral ligament or LCL. Knee injuries can result from a blow to or twist to the knee from improper landing after a jump or from running too hard, too much or without proper warm-up. Other common sports injuries suffered by athletes are shin splints, Achilles tendon injuries, patella dislocation and hamstring, quadriceps, and calf injuries. Number 4. Fractures. A fracture is a break in the bone that can occur from either a quick one-time injury to the bone or acute fracture or from repeated stress to the bone over time. Stress fracture. The most common symptom of a stress fracture is pain at the site that worsens with weight-bearing activities. Tenderness and swelling often accompany the pain. This is very important for the coaches to recognize and refer to athlete, to the trainers or the team physicians. Number 5. Dislocations when two bones that come together to form a joint become separated, the joint is described as being dislocated. Contact sports such as football, basketball, and lacrosse, as well as high-impact sports that can result in excessive stretching or falling, cause the majority of dislocations. A dislocated joint is an emergency situation that requires medical treatments. Symptoms of mentioned injuries Number 1. Pain 2. Swelling 3. Bruising 4. Difficult and painful movement deformity and Number 5. A pop, snap, or tear is sometimes felt or heard when the injury occurs. Now let's talk about first aid during common injuries. As soon as possible after an injury, such as a knee or ankle sprain, you can relieve pain and swelling and promote healing and flexibility with rice. We have rest, ice, compression, and elevation. In the first few days of injury, remember to avoid harm. We have heat, alcohol, running or other or excessive exercise and the last one massage now let's move on under letter B which is cheer dance cheer dance is coined from the words cheer and dance the cheer is to shout out words or phrases that may help motivate and boost the moral of a playing team and perform better during a game. Dance, on the other hand, is a physical activity where one expresses emotions or gestures while performing bodily movements, usually in time with rhythm. Cheer dancing rooted from the cheerleading and cheerleading is the performance of a routine usually dominated by gymnastic skills such as jumps, tumbling skills, lifts, and toses combined with shouting of cheers and yells to lead the crowd to cheer for a certain team during a game or sport. It originated in the United States due to Filipinos' love for dancing. They added more dance routine to their cheers came up with the term cheer dance, wherein it is a routine composed of yells and cheers, gymnastic skills like pyramids and poses, stunts, tumbling skills, arm and hand positions, and jumps. And of course, dance, fusion of different dance genres. Today, 
cheer dancing is identified as one of the most spectacular events in one of the biggest collegiate sports events in the country. The UAAP or University Athletic Association of the Philippines. We have the following essentials of cheer dancing. We have arms and hand movements. We have cheer dance basics or the gymnastic sides. We have the legs or feet positions. And we also have jumps. We also have tumbling skills. We could also have the options for pyramids. And we also have steps in executing a pyramid to avoid injuries. We have cheer dance basics, the dance side. We are using hip hop basics like bounce, groove, power moves, and under power moves we have pump, lock, point, curl, and freezes. Some of the genre that we are using is jazz or classical dance basics. Some of the elements of dance are the following. We have space, time, and energy. 